I want to give you a little bit of a backstory going back to ancient times with regards to Naxos. First of all, it is the largest island in the Kiklavis and it was also the breadbasket of the Kiklavis uh, because further in, within the, the mountains and the valleys, it was a very fertile ground which till to this day uh, it's very well known for its potatoes and um, for very nice olives and quite a few other crops. Um, the other thing that Noxus is very famous for is very white marble that was used in ancient times and there's still quarries here. So there's a lot of unfinished uh, projects going back to the ancient days that are just sitting. And that's also including the uh, Gate of Apollo there in the distance. Now what I see here in uh, Naxos brings me back to the days of when Mykonos was just uh, pretty much very relaxed and not so full of, you know, trendy people and super fashionable people. It was just chill and pretty. So that's what Naxos town is like. More to come. Something I really love seeing in the Kikolada Silence is the variety of Bulgandalia and the different colors, the size of them. It's really fantastic. Uh, we're now approaching sunset here in Naxos. It's really quite beautiful, as you can see here. From this vantage point, we get to see the islands of Paros and Antiparos across the water here. This here is uh, the peninsula of Steliva. I just arrived at Ayos Proco excuse me, Procopios Beach. It's Saint Procopios uh, Beach. It's a small town, relatively flat, so it's great for people that don't want to deal with hills, can't deal with uh, running around. Uh, with children and it's an ideal place for anyone who's a bit older and that has kids. These little ones are having a great time here and the water is absolutely beautiful as you can see. Just a little bit further south of Ayos Procopios Beach is Aia Ana, Saint Ana and here you'll find more of the beach experience that Naxos is famous for and of course across the way is Paros then you have this little cove here that's dotted with uh, lovely little boats caiques as we call them here in Greece with very shallow water and a beautiful little golden beach it's very very quiet and serene here Oh, and I have to show you the water. It's crystal clear. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if your idea of a beautiful beach is something that is golden like this, very, very quiet, where there's nothing organized, then you need to come over to this section of Ayeana Beach. St. Anna's Beach and heading south as I'm pointing the camera here the beach extends for quite a few kilometers so if you're one of those people like I am you love to walk on the beach and you want it fairly flat and you want the beach to be fairly shallow you know to get in the water this is a perfect place so do consider coming to this section of Ayana Beach. There's a little tavern over here. Much further down, as you can see, they're organized, so it's gonna be much noisier. Uh, 
uh, but I think this is a great spot to buy property, whatever we can find. And obviously you have a beautiful view, you have bottles in the distance, and uh, just breathtaking. All right, let's see what's on the other side of this dune here. Oh, nice, beautiful beach. It's the southern part of the beach I just came from. Even more beautiful sand over here. Now I have to look at the map to see exactly where I am, but I have a feeling this is called Blaka Beach. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, well we got a... Seems like a German man who's running around naked, so we're not going to get him on camera. <laughs> oh, well, I think there's more naked. Oh yeah, this is a new beach. Okay, over now. Now at the end of this beautiful sand beach that stretches for miles slash kilometers, we get to an area, a peninsula called Mikriviglia. And as you can see, they've got beautiful homes dotting the hill. And just imagine the view from here and the sunsets. Just absolutely spectacular. Just made it to Mikrivigla Beach and I'm delightfully surprised at how lovely it is. As you can see here, hardly anyone is to be found at this point in time of the year and uh, the landscape here is just beautiful in the distance you have Blaka Beach where I was just a few minutes ago all right you guys I think this might be my favorite little beach here this is the other side of Mikrivigla and as you can see, it is amazing. And it's a nice sandy beach stretching for at least probably a kilometer and a half. Nice and wide. So check it out. Pretty cool. All right, this is gonna be my last beach stop on this video, but it's not over yet. Here I am at Glifada Beach. And as you can see, it's quite beautiful as much as the other beaches that I've been to. So everyone's got a different personality to it. And it's relatively flat, golden, and a few properties behind it, rolling hills. So it's very, very pretty. I think you'll agree that every beach here in Naxo so far is absolutely spectacular. <laughs> here I want to give you an idea of how and where the locals live. Uh, I'm still in the old town of Naxos. I'm in the lower part of it. Um, and, you know, it's kind of plain. Um, we're not in the tourist section of town right now. I'm pretty much like on the other side, if you will. So I just want to give you a nice little tour for a couple minutes and show you what it's like. Now these little alleyways in Greek are called Sokaikia and it's quite charming. Properties do come up for sale over here as well. So if you have any interest in something that would be a little bit more in tune to what the locals experience you may want to consider this part of town, which is actually very, very quiet.
Let's see which way do I need to go to get to my car? I think we'll go this way. Yeah. Municipal parking lot is this direction and it's actually free. And there's quite a few. Many of the islands do not have enough parking. I know the Bado has got a big problem in their main town of Barikya. So, I'll give you another idea of where locals are. Cute traditional house. So as you can see, this parking lot's quite full. And uh, however, not impossible to get parking, which I did quite easily earlier. So it gives you an idea of what things look like outside of the tourist section of town. As you would expect, everybody comes out for the sunset. I'm here at uh, Naxos Town Port, where you'll see the beautiful sailboats here and a few small yachts. I'm sure that there'll be a lot more during high season. You'll see the Gate of Apollo in the distance there. It's a lovely evening, very, very comfortable out and everybody's having a great time. I'll be having a great time soon, very soon. <laughs> Have a good evening. Hello everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Naxos. Unfortunately, I'm departing. So I'm going to give you the last glimpse of this beautiful place. So in the distance we have Paros. I'm at the port. Here are these beautiful sailboats. Now Naxos, I found, is quite diverse. If you're interested in purchasing property here, you have anything from studios to obviously villas from prices in the low 100s, certainly topping over a million. I'm sure we can find you something really fantastic as there's a lot of development here and a lot of places that are ripe for Refurbishments. And this is what you get on the ferry boats. Anyway, this is Steve, Greek Property Finders, GreekPropertyFinders.com. Hope you have a great day. Come visit Naxos. It's lovely. Have a great day. Bye bye.